Namaste, peace and blessings. Thank you so much for joining me here today in our virtual studio. We are going to get started right now because it is seven o'clock on the dot. So I ask that we find our bodies in a comfortable seated pose. Any easy seat that feels good for you, may you find that seat. I am sitting in half lotus. As we are using our easy seat to help ground and center our bodies here today, ensuring that our tummies are nice and tight, our spinal cords are nice and long, meaning we are not sunken down. We have control of our bodies, relaxing our shoulders downward away from our ears. As we take a nice deep breath in, hold the breath, exhale. Taking a moment to notice how the breath feels within the body. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into a seated prayer, maybe our thumbs are touching our sternum, the center of our chest, if that feels good for you. As we breathe in, exhale. And may we hang out here in silent meditation for four natural breaths. Breathe in. Exhale. As we flow our arms above our heads, coming into a seated salute, palms, fingertips are reaching up towards the heavens. Our shoulders flows up towards the ears, allowing our spinal cord to feel nice and elongated here. Our palms are connected, interlacing our fingers with our pointer finger pointing up towards the heavens. Heart chakras open, chin is slightly up, allowing our arms to flow slightly towards the back of the room. We are in a slight back bend here. We're gonna hang out here for two breaths. Exhale into center. Twisting our bodies towards the right. We're going to separate our palms first. Twist our bodies towards the right and lower our palms downward towards the earth. We are in our seated twist as we are gaze over that right shoulder. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, coming into a seated star. And our star, our palms are off towards the side, feeling that stretch, chin is slightly up. Breathe in. Exhale, twisting the body towards the left, palms come downward towards the earth as we gaze over that left shoulder. We are soothing and relaxing our spine here. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back the center, coming into that star. As we flow to our seated extended mountain, meaning our palms are up above our heads and they are not together. Our palms are separated. We are in our seated extended mountain. Spinal cords are nice and long. Our heart chakra is opened. Our chin is slightly up. Maybe our eyes are gazed down or closed. As we are channeling in positivity, hope, and inspiration. May we welcome in anything that is soothing, and exciting and needed in our lives. Acceptable to change. And maybe hang out here and allow the energies in the universe to bring into us or make us aware of what is needed and what is wanted in our lives. Three breaths we are channeling in. Two more breaths. Breathing those palms together, coming to that salute. Exhaling down to prayer, relaxing our palms downward at heart center, ensuring that our shoulders are relaxed downward away from our ears, allowing the upper parts of our bodies to relax and soothe here. And our seated prayer, two breaths. As we flow our palms downward towards the earth, our fingertips are connecting to the earth as we are using this time to channel in and check in with our environment. Simply being aware of what is going on around us, what is happening around us. And during our session here today, we may hear noises, we may hear sounds, we may become distracted. 
However, may we take notice of what is going on without judgment, simply being aware. Two more breaths. As we breathe our palms up to our salute, exhale into prayer, relaxing our bodies as we flow onto our hands and our knees, coming into a tabletop position. Our knees are hip distance apart, tummies are nice and tight. As we drop down to our cow, exhale to cat, flowing back to our table. And we're gonna extend our left leg towards the back. We are working on our sunbury pose here. Feeling that stretch, both of our palms are flat on the earth. And maybe we can pulse that left leg up. We are working on our gluteus maximus. We're gonna do a couple of pulses. Two more breaths. Finding that pause as we breathe, extending that right arm forward. We are in that full sunbird. As we are gaze forward, we are building strength and we are balancing here. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Feeling that stretch. Breathe in. Exhale, knee to elbow, feeling that crunch. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Back to bird, two breaths. Flow into our table, knees are hip distance as we drop down to that cow. Exhale to cat. Flowing back to our table as we sunbird opposite side. We're gonna breathe that right leg towards the back for the next breath. Mm. Both palms are flat on the earth as we pulse that right leg upwards. Working that gluteus maximus on the opposite side. Mm. Two more breaths. Finding our pause as we extend that left arm forward. We are in our full sunburn as we are gazed forward. Tummies are tight as we are balancing and strengthening here. Mm. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Breathe in. Exhale, knee to elbow. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. No one back to bird. Two more breaths, building strength. Exhale back to our table. Dropping down to our cow. Exhale to cat. Flowing back to our table. As we work on our thread the needle, taking that right arm, reaching that right arm up towards the heavens, feeling that stretch. Gazing up at our right fingertips. Breathe in. Exhale, thread the needle, right arm threads through the left. Heart chakra comes downward towards the earth. <sighs> As we allow our shoulder blades to melt forward, maybe gazing our eyes down or closing our eyes. As we breathe in, exhale. And if we choose, we can take this left arm and wrap it around our backs. Or we can extend that left arm above our heads, palms flat on the earth. Thread the needle, four breaths. Two more breaths. As we unwrap that arm, if it was wrapped, we're gonna unthread that needle, finding our bodies back in our table. Dropping down to cow. Exhale to cat. Flowing back to our table as we thread the needle opposite sides, reaching that left arm up, fingertips reaches the ceiling as we are gaze up at our left fingertips. 
Breathe in. Exhale, thread the needle. Left arm threads through the right. Heart chakra comes downward towards the earth, allowing our shoulders to melt forward as we breathe in. Exhale. Allowing our bodies to relax and soothe here. And if we choose, we can take our right arm and wrap it around our backs. Or we can extend that right arm above our heads, palms flat on the earth, thread the needle, four more breaths. Two more breaths. As we slowly unwrap that arm, if it was wrapped, we're going to unthread that needle, finding our bodies back in our table. As we push our bodies up to our down dog, gazing at our feet, pushing our torso towards our thighs, feeling that nice deep stretch. As we walk our dog by pedaling our feet left and right, ensuring that our abdominal muscles are nice and tight here. As we find our pause, we're going to shift our weight forward, coming into that high plank, hanging out here for three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to down dog. Going back to high plank. Dropping down to low plank or chaturanga, hovering over our yoga mat. Two breaths. Exhaling down on our tummies. Coming into a Sphinx pose. We are on our tummies, relaxing on our forearms. Our shoulders are melted away from our ears, ensuring that we are not sunk in here. As we are gazed forward, or maybe closing our eyes, if that feels good. As we take a nice breath in, exhale. Allowing our bodies to relax and soothe for three breaths. Two breaths. As we flow to our baby cobra, we're gonna bring our palms next to our torso, pushing our torso slightly away from the earth. Our elbows are slightly bent. We are in our baby cobra. Exhale into our cobra. We are straightening those elbows. Our torso is a little further away from the earth. Two breaths. Exhale into an up dog, taking our thighs off the earth, allowing our chin to slightly come up. Two breaths. Exhale, down dog. Walking our feet forward, we're gonna come into a complete forward fold, allowing that torso to relax over those sides. Head is relaxed downward as we are going inwards, feeling this full body stretch. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale into a half forward. Breathing back down to a complete forward fold. Two breaths. Exhale into half. As we flow up to our mountain pose, our Tadasana. Palms are at our side. Okay, here in our Tadasana. We're gonna hang out here just for a couple more breaths. We are allowing our feet to become grounded into the earth here. As our head, our crown chakra is ascended into the universe. We are planted, we are rooted, we are solid. And at the same time, we are ascending and we are growing to new places. Noticing how we feel, two more breaths, Tadasana. <sighs> As we breathe our palms above our heads, flowing into a salute. Palms are together above our heads. Exhaling down to prayer. Flowing back to our Tadasana, palms are at our side. 
Bring me back up to our standing salute. Palms above the head, still in that stretch. Chin is slightly up, heart chakras open. Interlacing our fingers together with the pointer finger pointing up. Allowing our arms to flow slightly towards the back of the room, feeling this slight back bend. Two breaths. Exhale into center. Breathing down to our standing prayer, relaxing our palms at heart center, allowing those shoulders to relax downward away from our ears. As we use this time to go inward, focusing on self, simply being aware of how we feel right here, right now, in our present moment, going inward. And during this time, we may have feelings and thoughts. Maybe take notice of how we feel and what is going on without judgment. Simply being aware. May we hang out here in our standing prayer for three natural breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale and back up to our standing salute. Palms are together, interlacing our fingers with our pointer finger pointing up towards the heavens. We're going to allow our bodies to lean towards the right. We are in our standing crescent moon. And maybe we can slightly gaze up at the heavens if that feels good for us, opening up their heart chakra. Three breaths. Two more breaths. And tell them back to center. Allowing our bodies to lean towards the opposite side, crescent moon, three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, flowing down to our prayer. Exhale to our half forward fold, keeping our palms at heart center. We are in that half forward fold. Hmm. Two more breaths. As we flow to a complete forward fold, reaching our palms downward towards our ankles, feeling that stretch. Walking our hands forward, coming into a down dog, gazing at our feet, tummies are tight as we walk our dog. We're gonna find our pause. We're gonna breathe our right foot towards our right hand. Coming into that runner's lunge, just for a second, noticing how we feel. As we lift our bodies up, coming into a warrior two, Twisting that back leg a little bit. Flowing into that warrior two. Lifting that body up. One hand to the front, one hand to the back. Hanging out here on warrior two. Three breaths. Two more breaths. <sighs> Exhaling, reverse warrior, filling that stretch. Two more breaths. As we breathe to our side angle, we're gonna cross that arm over that thigh. We are in that side angle. Exhale to that extended side angle, reaching that left arm up in the air, feeling that stretch. Two more breaths. And we're gonna stay in this side angle position if we choose. Hanging out in this side angle, we're gonna flow into our prayer hands. Bringing our palms together, prayer hands. Hanging out here, three breaths. Two more breaths. Finding our pulse here in our prayer hands. We're going to take this right hand, reaching his right hand downward towards the earth. <sighs> Extending that left arm up in the air, feeling that stretch. <sighs> Three breaths. We can gaze down at our fingertips. We can gaze up at our left fingertips. Or gaze forward. Two more breaths. Exhale and twisting our hands downward towards the earth. We are in that runner's lunge. Breathing back, down dog, gazing at our feet. Maybe we can walk our dog pedal on our feet, loosening up our hip muscles here. Three breaths. Finding our pause, we're going to breathe that left foot to the left hand. Runner's lunge, opposite side. Hanging out here for a couple moments, noticing how we feel. If all feels well, we're going to twist that. Right leg slightly towards the back. We're going to flow up into that warrior two. <sighs> Feeling our bodies moving here, getting nice and warm. Three breaths. 
Two more breaths. Exhale, reverse warrior. Feeling the movements here. Two more breaths. Exhale into side angle, crossing that left arm over that left thigh. We are in that side angle. Two breaths. As we breathe, that right arm upwards, coming into that extended side angle. Right arm is up in the air, fingertips reaching for heavens. Two breaths. <sighs> Holding this side angle pose, we're going to flow into our prayer hands, bringing our palms together. Three breaths. Two breaths. Finding pause here in this prayer hand. We're going to take our left hand, reach our left fingertips downward towards the earth. We're going to extend that right arm up in the air, filling this flow here. We are in our side angle. I'm gazing up at our right fingers or gazing down at the um, feet. Whatever feels best for you. Two more breaths. <sighs> Exhaling forward, coming into that runner's lunge. As we flow back to that down dog, gazing at our feet. Coming on down to our forearms, coming into that dolphin. Propping our bodies down, buttocks is high in the air as we are gazing back at our feet. Maybe in that dolphin, we can walk our feet a little closer to the body, allowing that head to completely dangle down. We don't wanna cause any um, pressure or anything to our cervical spine. So gazing the eyes backwards towards the feet. Four breaths, dolphin pose. And maybe we can pulse up and down on our tippy toes if we choose. Two more breaths. Dropping down to our knees, we're gonna flow into a wide-legged child's pose or puppy pose, whatever you choose. Allowing that torso to relax between your thighs. Allowing that third eye chakra, your forehead, to connect to the earth. Five breaths. Breathe in, exhale. Allowing those shoulder blades to melt forward as we are going inward. Three more breaths. Extending our arms in front of us, palms are flat on the earth. We're gonna spinal wave our bodies out of this position. Two more spinal waves. Finding our pause at table, pushing our bodies back up to that down dog, gazing at our feet. As we breathe that right leg up in the air, coming into that three-legged dog, gazing at the foot. Breathe in. Exhale, knee to elbow. Flowing back to three legged. Knee to elbow. Back to three legged. Knee to elbow. Back to three legged. As we bend that right foot towards that left buttocks, opening up that hip. Hanging out here, two breaths. And if we choose, we can flow over to a wild thing. If we choose, filling that full body stretch. If we don't feel like doing a wild thing today, maybe we can flow down to a down dog or a dolphin pose and simply just relax and hang out here for a couple breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling out, coming to that down dog. Yeah. Walking out with dog here, feeling our bodies getting nice and warm and we're gonna keep on flowing, building strength, finding pause, Three-legged dog, opposite side. Left leg's in the air. Ooh. Gazing back at that foot. Ooh. Exhaling, knee to elbow. Back to three-legged. 
knee to elbow, feeling that crunch. Back to three legged. Knee to elbow. Back to three legged. We're gonna keep on flowing. We're gonna bend that left foot towards that right buttocks, opening up that hip. Hanging out here if we choose. Or flowing over into a wild thing. If that feels good for you, feeling that full body stretch. We can flow into a down dog or child's pose, puppy pose, if we choose. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale and out. Coming into that down dog. Dropping down to our knees, coming into a puppy pose. In our puppy pose, our legs are together. Buttocks is high in the air. Torso comes downward towards the earth. <sighs> Maybe our arms are extended in front of us here in our puppy. Four breaths. Taking nice natural breaths here. And maybe we can bring our palms together and flow our palms over our heads, coming into a puppy pose, prayer hands. Three more breaths. Mm. Extending our arms in front of us, palms are flat on the earth. We're gonna spinal wave our bodies out of this pose. Flowing back to our table, dropping down to cow, exhale into cat, coming back to that table as we cross our feet at our ankles, coming into a seated position. In our seated position, we're just gonna take a moment to simply relax the body. Connecting our root chakra to the earth as we are planted and simply just rooted here in our present moment. Taking a moment to notice how we feel right here, right now. Being aware of the present moment without judgment. How do we feel in this moment? Taking note of it and that is it. Being aware, awareness is key. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into that prayer. Shoulders relaxed downward away from the ears. Tummies nice and tight. Spinal cords nice and long. Two breaths. As we flow our feet to a bound position, we're gonna bring our feet together, coming into a diamond or a butterfly. In our bow position, we are working on those hip flexors, working on loosening up the inner parts of our thighs here. So our feet are bounded together, connected together. Maybe we can bring our palms to our feet and simply touch our feet, squeeze our feet with our palms. Noticing how we feel when we squeeze in our feet. And if we choose, we can play with each toe at a time, squeezing and massaging. Yeah, as we know, our feet carries us anywhere we go. So maybe we can take a little moment here to massage or squeeze our toes, our feet, whatever feels good for you. Three more breaths. Two more breaths. With our hands connected to our feet, Maybe slightly hinge at the hips, allowing the torso to come a little closer towards your feet. Noticing that when we hinge at the hips, we come deeper into that hip flexor. So only going down as much as your body comfortably allows you to go to. Listening to your body. Well, my voice is just a guide, but your body and you has the final say so. Three more breaths. Two breaths. using our hands to push our bodies up. And we're gonna open up our heart chakra, lifting our chin up, 
allowing our head to relax between our shoulder blades. We are in our seated cow. Two breaths. Exhale into cat. Going back to our bound position. Just hanging out here just for a second. And if all feels well, we're gonna go again. We're gonna slightly hinge our bodies at our hips here. Opening up and working on loosening up those hip flexors. And maybe this time we can allow our head to relax downward towards our feet. Allowing the shoulder blades to melt forward as much as we comfortably can. Closing our eyes or gazing our eyes down. Taking natural breaths here. Allowing the body to feel relaxed. And one. You may notice as we relax in this pose, we can go deeper in this pose. May we hang out here for four more breaths. Two more breaths. Using our hands to push our bodies up, using our hands to bring our knees together. We're gonna work on our abdominal muscles here, working on that core. We're gonna take our feet slightly off the earth, bringing our legs parallel with our hands. We are in that boat pose. We can have our legs parallel or we can straighten out those legs in that boat pose. Whatever feels best for you, working the core muscles here. Six breaths, both poles. Feeling our core get nice and strong here. Three more breaths. Two breaths. As we breathe our hands inward, we're gonna pound our hands from side to side, working that core a little more. And at the same time, we're working our obliques. Six breaths. Three more breaths. Two breaths, feeling a burn. We're gonna do a bonus here of two more breaths. Finding our paws, reaching our hands to our feet, playing with our feet and our hands, just lifting our feet up and down, keeping that tummy nice and tight, keeping our back, our spinal cord nice and long, because if we sink our bodies, we may fall over. So always having control of that spinal cord, keeping that spinal cord nice and elongated. Two more breaths, just having some fun here, playing with our feet. As we find our paws, and we're going to extend, we're going to extend that left leg out towards the side, feeling that stretch. You may feel it behind your legs here in your hamstrings. Taking a moment to notice how this feels in the body. And maybe if we choose, we can extend that leg outward towards the side, going deeper into that stretch. If we choose, three more breaths. Two breaths. As we breathe that leg inward, we're going to extend that right leg out towards the side. Feeling that stretch, you'll feel it behind your legs here in the hamstrings. And if we choose, we can extend that right leg outward towards the side. Going deeper in that stretch. Keeping that back nice and elongated here. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Extending that leg back in. We're gonna breathe that left leg back out towards the side, feeling that stretch. If all feels well, we're gonna extend that right leg out to the side. Now we are in our full boat pose variation, hanging out here. And we can option if we choose to allow both legs to come towards the side, coming into a wide legged V. Going deeper in that stretch, you'll feel this in your core muscles and we are keeping our spinal cord nice and long here. Four breaths. Two 
two more breaths. Breathing our legs and what we're gonna bring our feet together, coming back to that band position, flowing into that diamond or that butterfly, whatever feels good for you. In our diamond, our feet are further away from our bodies. It's a hip opener, but it's not a deep hip opener. In our butterfly, our feet are closer towards our body and it's a little bit more of a deeper hip opener. Keeping that heart chakra open, that chin up, allows us to keep our spinal cord nice and elongated. As we breathe in, exhale. Relaxing those shoulders downward away from the ears. Two more breaths. As we extend our legs forward, coming into a staff pose, our legs are parallel side by side. Final cords are nice and long. As we breathe our palms above our heads, coming into that salute, feeling that stretch, gazing up at our fingertips. Exhale to prayer. As we slightly hinge at our hips, coming into that seated half forward fold. And if we choose, we can reach our palms down towards our ankles, or we can go deeper connecting our fingertips, our hands to our feet. Now we are in that complete seated forward fold. Allowing that torso to come closer to the thighs, allowing that head to relax downward towards the knees, allows our body to feel the full stretch in that seated forward fold. Whatever feels best for you here in this forward fold, listening to your body and doing what feels best for you, five natural breaths. Three breaths. Exhale into half. As we flow back up to our staff pose, relaxing the body, we're gonna take that right foot, bringing that right foot flat on the earth, that right knee is up in the air. We're gonna work on our stage Marichis here. Just going over a couple body stretches here. So we have that right foot flat on the earth, our knee is in the air. We're gonna extend that right arm up in the air, lean our bodies towards the left, leaning forward, lowering that arm down a little. We're gonna wrap this right arm around that right leg here. Feeling that stretch. We are in our Sage Marichi. We can hang out here with that left leg straight or we can actually bend, bend that left leg inward if that feels good. Whatever you choose. We also can take this left hand and reach the left hand behind our backs interlacing the right and left fingertips together. And we are in that Sage Marichi in this position as well. So we can have that left knee bent inward, that left foot inward, or we can keep that left leg straight. Whatever feels good for you, with our heart chakra open and our chin up, we are in our Sage Marichi one. Two more breaths. Hanging out here, we're gonna slightly hinge at the hips. We're gonna keep our bodies in the exact same position. We're gonna hinge at the hips allowing that head to relax downward towards the knee. Now we are in that Sage Marichi two, taking a moment to notice how this feels. Three breaths. Exhale back up to Sage Marichi one, uninterlacing those fingers. We're gonna unwrap that leg, flowing back into that staff pose. Both legs are parallel side by side as we breathe to that salute. Exhale a prayer. Hinging at our hips, coming into that half forward fold as we breathe down to that complete forward fold, allowing the torso to come towards the thighs, allowing the head to relax downward towards the knees. Three breaths. Exhale into half, lower back to that staff pose. As we stage Marichi opposite side, taking that left leg, left foot is flat on the earth, left knee is up in the air, positioning our bodies to feel comfortable. We're gonna take our left arm lifted up in the air, lean our bodies towards the right, 
We're going to lean forward, lowering that left arm down a little. We're going to wrap this left arm around that left leg. We are in our Sage Marici. And we can hang out here and call it a pose because it is. Or we can take this right arm and wrap it around our backs, interlacing our right and our left fingertips. Feeling that stretch? We just went a little bit deeper into the stretch of the Sage Marici. Keeping in mind that we can keep this right leg extended or we can breathe that right leg inward. Whatever feels good for you, we are still in that Sage Marici. I'm gonna hang out here for a couple breaths. Our heart chakra is open, our chin is up. Two more breaths. And if our right leg is bent in, maybe we can straighten it out because it's kind of easier for some people when they're going into that Sage Mariti too to have that leg downward as we hinge at the hips. Torso comes towards the thigh, allowing that head to relax downward towards the knee. Sage Mariti two, three breaths. As we slowly uninterlace those fingers, we're going to unwrap that left thigh, flowing back into that staff pose. Legs are parallel as we breathe to our salute. Exhale into prayer. Hinging at our hips, coming into that complete forward fold, relaxing the body here. Exhale into half forward fold, coming back up to that staff pose. Crossing our feet at our ankles, we're gonna flow back to that tabletop position. Knees are hip distance apart. Dropping down to cow. Exhale to cat. Flowing back to our table. As we push our bodies up to our down dog, gazing at our feet. As we breathe that left, I'm sorry, as we breathe that right foot to that right hand, we are in that runner's lunge. Just for a second, noticing how we feel here in this runner's lunge, we're gonna drop that left knee down we are now in our low lunge. Just hanging out here just for a second. And if we choose, we can breathe our torso away from our thigh, lifting our arms up in the air, feeling that stretch. We are in our low lunge, feeling this stretch here. This prepares our body for split. Three breaths. Framing that front foot, coming off of that left knee. We are back in that runner's lunge. We're gonna walk this right hand inside of our thigh. We are now in our lizard prep pose here. We can come on down to our forearms here in our lizard, or we can use our block in front of us and come on down to our block on our forearms. That way we're not too deep in that stretch here in our lizard. <sighs> and we can have our left knee down to the earth if that feels good. Or we can have that left thigh up. Two more breaths. Hmm. Removing that block if it was there. We are now on both our palms. We are in that runner's lunge. And we're going to twist our body towards our right thigh. So body twist towards the right. Right arm goes up in the air. We are in that revolved twist. Gazing up at our right fingers if that feels good. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back down. We are in that runner's lunge as we flow to down dog, gazing at our feet. As we walk our dog, pedal on our feet. And we're gonna keep on flowing. We're gonna keep on building strength. We're not gonna stop. We're gonna breathe that left foot to that left hand. Runner's lunge, opposite side. <sighs> Noticing how we feel here. Feeling that stretch as we drop down to that right knee. Now we're in that low lunge, prepping our body for split. And we can hang out here if this feels good. Or we can push our torso away from that thigh, breathing our palms up in the air, feeling that stretch. <sighs> Relaxing and soothing the body here. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale, framing that front foot. Coming off of that right knee, we are back in that runner's lunge. Bringing that left hand inside of our thigh. We are now in our lizard prep. We can flow on down to our forearms if that feels good. Or we can bring that yoga block in front of us and come on to our forearms on the block. That way we're not so deep in the stretch. And we can have that 
right leg off the earth, or we can lower that right leg down to the earth. Whatever you choose, we are still in our lizard. We are feeling that stretch here. Three more breaths. Well, we are feeling this nice deep hip opener here. Two more breaths. <sighs> Dropping down to that knee if you choose as we remove that block if it was there. Coming up to that runner's lunge, taking that right knee off the earth. As we twist our bodies towards the left, revolve twist. Body twist towards the left thigh. Left arm goes up in the air. Gazing up at the fingertips if you choose. Three breaths, revolve twist. Two more breaths. Exhale and framing that front foot. We are back in that runner's lunge as we breathe to our down dog. Dropping down to our dolphin here, coming on to our forearms, but axis high in the air, walking our feet towards our torso. Allowing our head to completely relax downward as we are gazing back at our feet. Three more breaths. <laughs> Dropping down to our knees as we flow into a wide legged child's pose. Torso relaxes between the thighs. Heart chakra comes downward towards the earth. Third eye chakra connects to the earth. As we relax and go inward, five breaths. Allowing those shoulder blades to melt forward. Taking nice deep breaths here. Three more breaths. Extending those palms in front of us. We're gonna spinal wave our bodies out of this child's pose. We're gonna do three spinal waves. <sighs> Soothing that spinal cord here. Finding our paws at their third spinal wave, bringing our knees slightly together, dropping down to cow. Exhale to cat. Lower back the table as we cross our feet at our ankles, coming into a seated position. Only for a second, we're going to flow onto our back, coming into a kneaded chest, bringing our knees into our chest. We are in our reclined position, hugging our knees into our chest. <sighs> Allowing the shoulder blades to melt back into the earth. Gazing our eyes down or closing our eyes if that feels good. Two breaths. As we allow our knees to fall, to fall towards the left, we are in that reclined spinal twist. Knees fall towards the left. Right arm comes out towards the side like a T. We can take our right leg and extend it outward towards the side if we choose to come deeper in that stretch. <sighs> Allowing our bodies to completely relax here in our reclined spinal twist. With our eyes gaze down or closed, shoulder blades melts backwards into the earth. Five breaths. Three more breaths. Mm -hmm. Exhaling back to center, hugging the knees into the chest. As we breathe, our knees flow to the opposite side. Recline spinal twist. Knees fall towards the right. Left arm goes out to the side like a T. And if we choose, we can take that left arm and that left leg and extend it out to the side, feeling that stretch a little deeper as our shoulder blades relaxes back into the earth, gazing up at the heavens, eyes are closed, your gaze down, whatever feels good for you, five breaths. Three more breaths. Mm 
Exhaling back to center, hugging the knees into the chest. Ah, feeling that stretch as we extend our legs up in the air, legs on the wall pose. Pointer, ah, plant to flex the nose toes upwards towards the heavens, feeling that stretch. Breathing those toes upwards as we reach our palms downward to the lower parts of our legs. We're going to breathe our legs towards our torso. Buttocks come slightly off the earth as we're going into this full body stretch. Exhale, legs back up in the air, legs on the wall. As we flow into that happy baby, allowing the knees to come inwards, feet is up in the air, hands come between the thighs, coming out, connecting to the feet. Happy baby. This is a hip opener. Yes, we did work our hips today. So we are relaxing and soothing here in our happy baby. Feet is in the air. And maybe we can play with our feet one more time. We played with our feet earlier today. We showed our feet a little love and affection. And maybe we can show our feet a little bit more love and affection if we choose. We are in this happy baby. We can freestyle in our happy baby doing whatever we choose including rocking the body from side to side, allowing the earth to relax and soothe the spinal cord. Whatever you choose, happy baby, seven natural breaths. Five more breaths. Three breaths. <sighs> As we breathe our legs back up in the air, legs on the wall, reaching our hands downward to the lower parts of our legs. As we bring our legs towards our torso, buttocks comes off the earth, feeling this full body stretch. Exhaling legs back up in the air, legs on the wall as we allow our left leg to lower downward towards the earth, our right leg is still up in the air. We can bring, breathe our knee inward and connect our hand to our feet, or we can use a, a, a strap and put the strap around our feet as we extend that leg up in the air nice and high. So we are in our extended hand to toe as we are bringing that, pulling that leg towards our torso. Feeling that nice deep stretch here behind our thighs and our hamstrings. If this is too deep, we can just bring our hands to the lower parts of our legs and bring that leg towards our torso. Three more breaths. Exhaling knees to chest, both knees flows to chest, hugging them in. Exhaling both legs up in the air, legs on the wall. As we allow that right leg to come downward towards the earth, our left leg is up in the air. As we breathe that left knee inward a little bit, we can take a strap and wrap it around our foot, or we can take our hand to our toe, extended hand to toe, as we are bringing that leg towards our torso. We can also take our lower our hands and bring it to the lower parts of our thighs and breathe that leg towards our torso. Whatever feels good for you. <sighs> Three more breaths. Exhaling, breathing both knees inward, knees to chest, as we allow our feet to fall towards the earth. Both of our feet are flat on the earth. Our knees are in the air with our palms next to our buttocks. We're gonna push our buttocks off the earth, working on our bridge pose. So pulsing the buttocks up and coming back down. We are working at gluteus maximus. When our, ball, when our buttocks is pulsed up, we are in that bridge pose. And we can hang out here or we can pulse it up and down, whatever feels best for you. We also can have the option of connecting our hands underneath our buttocks, interlacing our hands underneath our buttocks, and walking our shoulder blades towards our spinal cord. As our torso, our chest comes higher in the air, as does our hips. Now we are in that nice deep bridge. And we can pulse it once more in our nice deep bridge. Whatever feels best for you. We are pulsing up and down, building strength and rounding and tightening our gluteus maximus muscle. 
eight breaths. Still in a pause or staying still or doing both. Whatever feels best for you, we are feeling that burn. Four more breaths. Three breaths. If we are pausing, we're gonna find our pause and our pause and come up nice and high, nice and deep. Crunch your neck, gluteus maximus, nice and tight here. Feeling that burn, feeling that crunch. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Four breaths. Holding it in, three breaths, two breaths, nice and tight, bringing it in, nice and tight, filling that squeeze, two more breaths, bonus here, two more breaths, squeezing it tight, exhaling down, relax in the body, blood oxygen to the earth, bringing those knees into the chest, hugging those knees into the chest. <sighs> Extending the legs up in the air, legs on the wall, reaching down to the lower legs, bringing those legs towards our torso. Buttocks comes off the earth. Exhale back up to legs on the wall, breathing our knees inward. Extending our legs parallel, side by side, flowing into that shavasana. Legs are parallel. Feet are connecting. The sides of our feet are connecting, are touching, as we allow our feet to fall completely towards the side, relaxing and soothing that body. Shoulder blades melts backwards into the earth. Our heart is relaxing. Our heartbeat is regulating as our eyes are closed or gaze down. Feeling the movements of our breath, relaxing our body. Going inward. Focusing on self. As we hang out here for seven breaths of silent meditation. Two more breaths. Keeping our eyes closed if we choose, we're gonna roll onto our side, coming into a fetal pose. Relaxing and soothing here for four more breaths. As we slowly rotate our ankles, maybe moving our feet, our toes, moving our bodies and our lips and our buttocks. Using our top hand to push our bodies up, coming into a seated position. I am gonna come into a cow face, cow face legs. I'm not gonna come into that full cow face, just the cow face legs. Once again, connecting our hands to our feet, showing our feet a little love a little more love, squeezing our feet or our toes. Tummies tight, spinal cords nice and long, shoulders are relaxed downward away from our ears. Our eyes are gazed down or closed as we are soothing and relaxing here, applying pressure to our feet, to our toes, to the balls of our foot, to heels of our feet, whatever we feel. Three more breaths. Breathe in, 
exhale. As we ensure that our chin is relaxed, our facial muscles are relaxed, our chin, I'm sorry, our forehead is relaxed. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into a seated prayer, maybe allowing our thumbs to touch our sternum, if that feels good. As we breathe in deeply, exhale fully. As we use this time to thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care here today. For in a busy, busy world, it is a beautiful thing when we find time for self. And I would like to thank you all for allowing me to practice self-care with you here today. For it truly, truly is a blessing. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the light in you all. Namaste. Namaste.